Hi everybody, it's Blood and Plunder Week here on BeastsofWar.com and we have three fantastic mega bundles up for grabs. These include the rulebook, two nation packs of your choice, and the cards that you're going to need to get you and a friend into the game. For your chance to win, get your comments in on any of the Blood and Plunder content this week on Beasts of War, Facebook or YouTube. Winners are announced in an upcoming weekender, so stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome to Blood and Plunder Week here on Beasts of War. I'm joined by John and Mike and today we're having a look at the unaligned factions of Blood and Plunder. So, <laughs> I'm guessing unaligned, this is going to be the pirates. This is the guys who don't care who the hell you are, we are raiding, we are pillaging everything. Yes, but every single nationality has a pirate option. Okay. Everyone. Buccaneers are all pirates, Guardacostas are pirates, mm -hmm. the Spanish don't think so, but everybody else does. So, <laughs> um, so now here the... Uh, the unaligned, we've got two options right now. Mm. We've got the Brethren of the Coast, mm -hmm. which is mainly a conglomeration of English and French buccaneers working together. Mm -hmm. And you've even got some Spanish sailors who have defected and will, will fight on the... Oh, look, I can make better money there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Definitely going to make better money with the English and French this at this setting. Mm -hmm. so, um, so you've got basically all the stuff you get in the French buccaneer list mm -hmm. and the English buccaneer list mixed up together. You lose some of the extra stuff that, mm -hmm. that you'd get. Like, uh, you can't take the English militia or anything like that, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, But, yeah, so if you really want to just focus on the, the freebooters and the filibustier and you really just want to go mm. mix those up, it's a great, it's a great way to do that. Mm. All right, well, let's, let's start having a look. Mm -hmm. So we've got two commander options I'm seeing from the images I have here. So we've got right. our English commander. Right. And we're also allowed to take the French commander, if I'm correct. Right, and it depends on the faction. So the yeah. other faction is logwood cutters. Mm -hmm. And logwood cutters were basically guys who cut logwood yeah like they were basically pirate lumberjacks really in, uh, yes they were pirate lumberjacks is pretty much what they were because mm. the vast majority of them were buccaneers that were either out of work or waiting for the next raid mm -hmm. and just trying to find something to do mm. so but it was poaching to the spanish because it was well, poaching it, trees poaching trees it was in spanish ter territory okay. primarily an area called uh, laguna de terminos or something like that mm -hmm. and um um, I believe in the Bay of Campeche, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, so those guys are, they're pretty much just another flavor of the Brethren of the Coast, essentially, just in unit variety. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they've caught, but since they're a little out of practice, a lot of times they're getting attacked by the Spanish. They're mm -hmm. caught on the defensive. So, you know, they may find, you may find them in some odd situation as, um, you know, they may end up starting the fight drunk, which will give them some bonuses, but also some negatives. I think fire. So these guys, okay. So go through that one more time. So at the mm -hmm. start of the game, you have to figure out what state they've been caught in. Correct. And now is this attacking, defending? What? Yeah. So defend. If so, if they're defending, the, mm. you, they don't know what state they're going to be caught in. Okay. If they're attacking, they're using their typical buccaneer trick. So they're going to oh. get the, the rules for that faction. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. So, but if they're defending, they could end up being drunk. Mm. They may be, uh, you know, they may be caught with their muskets. Mm -hmm. Not loaded and unprepared completely, which is which is very unfortunate. Or mm -hmm. they may get, uh, or they may be, you know, ready to go, mm -hmm. and you'll get an extra action at the start of the first turn with all wow. your guys. So. so this is sort of the gamblers faction. If yeah. you're playing at like a tournament or something, seeing yeah. if if you can get lucky and keep getting those extra actions, then mm -hmm. exactly. Or if you just want something just a little, you know, it's going to play a little different every time. Mm -hmm. It's the one to go with. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's have a look at some of the units mm -hmm. that we have in here. So what is this first one? So we're back to the filibusters, so mm -hmm. filibustiers. So these are, again, our French buccaneers, mm -hmm. and it's you know it's going to be primarily the same factions we've seen before, mm -hmm. and well, uh, now we can use them together. Yeah. So, so we've got the Enfants Perdus or mm -hmm. Forlorn Hope, your choice if you want to go more French or more English flavored, mm -hmm. right? Uh, moving on mm -hmm. through, we have the, in the English freebooters, mm -hmm. and lastly we have. So we've got the marineros. So mm -hmm. the marineros are the Spanish sailors. Mm -hmm. Now we've also got you can take. Generally, especially with the Brethren of the Coast, mm. you can take sailors from any of the nationalities. Right. So you can take English, you can take French, you can take Spanish, eventually Dutch. Mm. Um, so you can use all those guys kind of together. So if you want to make a, a really interesting kind of sea force, you mm. can have that option as well. A lot of the crews were really mixed. Mm. And you can also have, you know, if you want to take, if you really don't know if you like the filibustiers for their brawliness, 
for the the freebooters for the kind of their for kind of their flexibility mm -hmm. take a little bit of both mm -hmm. so you've got some pretty interesting options in how you can play the brethren mm -hmm. now their one limitation is that they don't have as many as many commander options mm -hmm. as some of the other factions do so you don't find as many characters most of the guys we find in history generally were fighting for one specific group so either the english the french the spanish right so there was no one who was truly mercenary flipping back and forth there were some okay. there were some so we have we have one french commander and morgan himself can lead the brethren as since he did conglomerate the english and french in his mm. raid on panama so he would count so. as a brethren of the coast commander so you can use him as a brethren of the coast commander as okay. well as he can also lead his own force in fact so a lot of the legendary commanders have their own force list oh right yeah and uh, how many legendary commanders do we have at the moment so we have three We've got one for each. We've got English, French, and Spanish. Mm -hmm. Although in the Kickstarter that we've got coming up here in June, you're going to start. You're going to start to see a whole bunch more come mm -hmm. around. All right. Well, th this this is going to be interesting because having like theme forces mixed in here to actually give you that that little slice of history to look into and really just mm -hmm. this is who they are. This is what they did. Really get a feel and flavor for the story of what they're doing. Because mm -hmm. what I'm seeing coming out through this week has been that every force is flavored to what it's meant to have historically been. So. Right. Actually having that, and it, it makes it really easy to get a feel for what the force is meant to do on the tabletop. I'm sure you found this yourself, John. Yeah. Playing some of the stuff, you actually, you feel like it is properly historical, even though it's not heavy historical, where you're having to find out every last little detail. You can get that, that right. nice overall flavor and work with it. Exactly, and we try to kind of cover it for you. Mm. So you're going to discover some of the historical tactics. A lot of people end up playing the the... the the factions historically and not even realize it mm. so you're going to learn all oh, this makes sense this is how they fought so this is you know mm. the, the units are kind of geared to take you in that direction so if you play them historically you're going to be rewarded for it mm. even if you do it by accident yeah <laughs> yeah and um, so what i'm getting from the brotherhood of the coast then is mm. that there are very much the mixed pot yeah you can get a little bit of flavor from each faction and sort mm -hmm. of tailor it to what you really want it to do to a certain degree right to a pretty high degree with them because mm. one of their best uh, rules is that one of the options you have is for a point or for minus a point mm. you can adjust their training levels up or down one mm. so you can get a bunch of inexperienced freebooters so a lot of times you've got a lot of a lot of um, a lot of conglomeration crew like that mm. there were different groups you can get them and reduce their training level and kind of go with a buccaneer horde that's not as good <laughs> so you know they're kind of getting their they're getting their sea legs so to speak yeah so these are the the young fellows that have just boated across from mm -hmm. europe and are just Beginning mm -hmm. to learn, holy crap, we're in the Caribbean. Why is it so hot out here? <laughs> that's and exactly. it's pretty awesome, too, because you're sort of getting like a militia type force, but mm. with ball and shot. And ball and shot is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like ball and shot, that's, uh, you were explaining it to me. They mm -hmm. put the musket ball in, but then they put a lot of essentially buckshot down there, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, some smaller shot in with a musket ball mm -hmm. to kind of increase the effect of the shot. More mm -hmm. likely to get a minor injury or maybe even another casualty out of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, it's, it's been fantastic looking at the factions. I think this will probably be the one that Warren will drop into because <laughs> he loves to game in the gaps. So right. he loves to be able to tell his stories. And this seems like that, that faction that's going to let you do that. You're going to be able to draw up what you want and start building your own stories within the world of Blood I and think Blunder. So. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we will call it at that. Everybody, mm -hmm. drop your comments in below. Will you be going for the online faction? They sound like a lot of fun. They sound like you can have a lot of flexibility to build the list the way you want to. We'll move on here, and we'll see you again another time. Hi, everyone. We hope you're enjoying this themed week. Make sure you don't miss any of it by checking out the playlist, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to ding our dong so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, come across and join us on beastofwar.com for more great gaming content and a fantastic community. Also, keep your comments in for your chance to win.